Brand tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. I've posted two videos recently about Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge uh, that have both been recently updated to version 100. And that's in Google Chrome Canary and Microsoft Edge Canary, which both Google and Microsoft uh, use for testing and experimenting and are unstable pre-release versions of those browsers. Now, yeah, we can see in Chrome Canary, we are already sitting at version 101. And in Microsoft Edge Canary, uh, the version number is 100. Now, as I mentioned in those two previous videos, which I will leave links to down below if you are interested, um, moving from two, two to three digits in the version number is quite a big deal now um, that's facing uh, browser developers of uh, mainstream uh, web browsers as older uh, websites and some websites could possibly read uh, the version number as version 10 when once they jump uh, the version number jumps from two to three digits which could um, cause those uh, older websites and some websites to possibly fail to load thinking that your browser is outdated now if we just head over to the chrome platform status yeah we can see that the stable version of google chrome version 100 that's uh, Chrome Stable 100, will be rolling out in 36 days time. Uh, that's on the 29th of March this year, 2022. And also um, uh, Mozilla Firefox uh, Stable version 100 is going to be rolling out in early May. So those dates are coming pretty soon and quite fast. So browser developers are obviously trying to uh, resolve this issue and come up with possible solutions if there is going to be a problem regarding some websites reading version 100 as um, version 10 as an example. Now both Chrome and Firefox apparently according to reports um, have uh, been running some experiments now for a couple of months that um, change uh, some of the user agents strings to report version 100 um, which has already led to many bug reports and some fixes so i think as i have mentioned previously that by the time uh, version 100 reaches the stable channels of the browsers we shouldn't really see any um, issues but if there are still any issues with websites that break with version 100 google and mozilla um, are coming um, up with ideas to identify broken sites and then freeze that version number at version 99 for those older websites or sites that are broken. Now, as an example, Google say they are planning uh, to keep the first digit of the version at 99 and then move the actual major release to the second digit. So as an example, what Google could possibly do is um, put it at version 99.101 drop the zero point four nine zero one point zero so i'll just repeat that again now what they could do is put it at version 99.101.4901.0 so some of those sites that are broken will re still read the version as 99 although the original version of the uh, the actual version of the browser is 100 and beyond so that's a possible plan that um google is coming up with and then at this stage uh Microsoft hasn't really um, said anything officially yet, but um, due to the fact that um, the uh, uh, Microsoft Edge browser is going to be coming, get into version 100 in the stable channel quite soon as well, I'm sure that it's likely that they will come up with some ideas and solutions and follow suit. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.